Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and if you have an old or cheap or slightly sluggish laptop that's seen better days, then you may want one of these little guys, a solid state drive or SSD. Now I know it's 2020 and people have been upgrading their laptops with SSDs for donkey's years now, but I still genuinely think it's the best and most cost effective way of upgrading an old laptop and giving it a new lease of life. So when Samsung got in touch and asked if I wanted to make a video all about upgrading a slow old laptop with their Samsung 860 Evo SSD, I jumped to the chance. So why now? Well, SSDs are cheaper and better than ever, and installing one is pretty simple as well. This is meant as a bit of a beginner's guide, and I'll cover the basics of buying the right SSD for you, how to move all your files to the new drive, and go over the basics of installing it. And it may mean you don't have to buy that expensive new laptop for a few more years. So I've got this three-year-old Asus laptop, which uh, comes with a Core i3 5th gen processor, four gigs of RAM, and a pretty horrible uh, TN panel screen. You can see there's horrible viewing angles there. And also a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. Now, of course, changing the drive to an SSD isn't gonna fix that screen or the fact that this could do with eight gigs of RAM, but I still think if you're gonna make one upgrade, then going to an SSD is the best choice here. And so that's exactly what I did, and it transformed it. We went from 40 second boot times down to nine seconds. The read data speeds were three times higher and the write speeds were five times faster. It really did transform how it feels to use it. And it's not all about the speed. Well, it's most of the speed, but also SSDs are more power efficient than traditional hard drives, and they're also silent as well. And if you are still using an old hard drive and you've been using it a lot, then this will eventually wear out. So changing to an SSD is a good way to extend the life of your machine and most importantly, protect your data. Now for me, I've always tended to buy Samsung SSDs and the 860 Evo here is a great choice. It's exactly the same size as a regular laptop hard drive at two and a half inches and it uses the same SATA 3 interface. You'll also want to go for at least the same amount of storage as your old hard drive, so in my case, one terabyte, which you can find for around 130 pounds or dollars. And I've put a link in the description below. Although my recommendation for most people who don't need a ton of storage would be the 500 gig model, which costs about 75 pounds or $80. You may have also come across the smaller and faster NVMe M2 SSDs. That's a lot of acronyms there, but basically you need a dedicated slot on your laptop's motherboard to use one of these. And if you're coming from a hard drive, then you can pretty much guarantee your machine won't have this option. It's more common on newer and higher spec laptops. Just quickly, before we go any further, do make sure that your particular laptop is upgradable. The vast majority are, but it's worth doing a little bit of research online, maybe watching a few how-to videos on how to actually open up and change the hard drive in your particular laptop. But the actual process of swapping it out is fairly simple. I mean, if I can do it, then you can definitely do it. And it shouldn't void your warranty, assuming it still has one. Uh, although obviously the warranty won't cover the drive, the new drive that you're putting in. So enough of me rambling, let's actually get to the process of swapping out the SSD. And the first thing to consider is Windows or your operating system. What are you gonna do with your current files that you have on your laptop? And you've got two options really. The first one is a fresh install of Windows, which to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend. It's a little trickier with laptops because you have to make sure uh, firstly that all your data is backed up, that you have the drivers for the touchpad and the screen and the keyboard because uh, it's not quite as straightforward as a desktop PC. So while you can do that and it actually will give you a little bit of a boost in performance because uh, you've got rid of all your old crap from your laptop. I think it's much easier just to clone the data from the current hard drive to the new SSD and then it's just a straight swap. Now apart from the SSD itself, you'll also need a USB to SATA drive cable. The one I have here uses two USBs but usually they only have one and you can find them online for about 10 pounds. An interchangeable screwdriver kit is a good bet as it's important to get the right head otherwise you risk threading the top of the screw and then getting it out becomes seriously difficult. Also, make sure to earth yourself on something grounded to protect the components inside from static. Or better yet, get yourself an anti-static wrist strap. I would definitely recommend backing up all your important documents and media just in case though. It is a good idea to delete any unnecessary files or programs and then run Windows' disk cleanup and defragmentation tools so you get the best results from the transfer. So then, as we're working with a Samsung SSD, it makes perfect sense to use Samsung's free data migration tool, which is really simple to use. But there's loads of free or paid for drive cloning and backup software out there. I've used Macrium Reflect a few times before and the free version has everything you need for migrating to your new disk. Next, make sure your new drive is plugged in via USB and it should appear as the target disk. Again, make sure you're cloning to a drive with enough storage to fit the data and partitions from your old drive on it. 
and make sure to close all the open programs you can as these may develop issues if you clone them while still running. Hit start and a reminder pops up to let you know that any data on the target drive will be lost. Once it's transferred everything, it'll let you know and then prompt you to turn your machine off and swap the drives. All right, so now we need to remove the screws from the bottom of the laptop and then either remove the bottom plate or in my case, the keyboard deck, which is a little more tricky actually. Once we're in, it should be obvious where the hard drive is. Unscrew any retaining screws and then just slide the drive out. Remove the drive's caddy, being careful to note the orientation of the drive and then pop in the SSD and replace all the screws. Check the smaller power and the larger interface connectors line up and then slide it back in carefully. Don't force it if it's not going in. Then gently replace the base or the keyboard in my case and don't forget to reattach any of the cables. And now it's time for the moment of truth. All being well, fingers crossed, your machine should then boot up as it always has, but much faster. And that's it, you've upgraded your own laptop and added years to the life of it. Plus, you can always use the old hard drive you've just taken out and use it as an external USB drive. You can buy a three and a half inch enclosure from Amazon, slot it in and you're good to go. So the big question then, how much have I improved my old laptop? Well, restart time went from two minutes and 49 seconds on the hard drive down to 20 seconds on the SSD. That's almost seven and a half times faster. Opening Chrome took 18 seconds with the hard drive, but took just 2.5 seconds with the SSD. That's over six times faster. Adobe Lightroom took twice as long to open on the older hard drive, 31 seconds versus 15 seconds. And the multiplayer shooter Overwatch took an absolute age to boot up, 1 minute 20, while the SSD managed it in just 25 seconds. If you want to get really nerdy, then the sequential data read speeds went up three times and the sequential write speeds were up over five times, which is good for faster file transfers and software installation. So all that is great, but what makes the biggest difference to overall responsiveness is the 4K random read speeds. And here we see by far the biggest increase. It's over 50 times quicker to access random data on a disk. And this is why a laptop with an SSD feels so nippy to use. What a difference this little guy has made to my laptop. It's gone from painfully slow to something I could actually use. Now, of course, remember that your laptop or computer is only as fast as its slowest component. So uh, it still may be held back by the amount of RAM or the processor or the graphics. So for this particular laptop, my next upgrade would probably be to double the RAM to eight gigabytes. But for now, the 860 EVO has made a huge difference and really anyone can do this. It took me about an hour and a half in total. So I would definitely recommend it. And really the whole point of this is to save money. So you don't have to go out and buy a whole shiny new laptop and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds or thousands of pounds when you can buy something like this for about a hundred pounds or this smaller one for about 75, 80 pounds. And actually, as I say, transform your old laptop. I'm all about reusing, re-improving, re-improving? I don't think that's a real word, upgrading. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have actually gone through this process yourself before and you think you've got any tips or maybe I've missed something, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you want to see more from me, then make sure you hit that little subscribe button below. And I'll catch you next time right here on The Tech Chat.